Where have you all been? Who's available and not tonight? Uh, KO uh, is not available. Um, Wayne is questionable. He did go through a uh, shoot round, so I would say that's uh, – what's the category between questionable and for sure playing? Okay. What's between probable and questionable? Okay, somewhere in there, okay, in that bucket. And uh, everybody else ready to go? They're both cleared and they're both available and ready to play tonight. Yeah, uh, I went up uh, to Pat's office uh Right before practice, maybe 45 minutes, an hour before practice, guys were starting to already get on the floor, um, you know, just for a quick update. Uh, and uh, he said there's a, a possibility that maybe something could happen with Luke. And then he said also there's a possibility something could happen with uh, Dwayne. And I was about ready to walk out the door. I said, what? <laughs> Dwayne who? <laughs> um, and he explained that uh, um, how much movement was going on around the league. It, it potentially uh, could happen. Um, and uh, we'll let you know by the end of practice. And I said, well, I have to go out and actually work now <laughs> and, and go through a, a practice waiting, waiting to find out. Um, my only response was, let's go. Let's do it. You know, um, it, it was not something that any of us probably foresaw two weeks ago. Um, you know, crazy things happen uh, in this league. And so it, it was just – it just absolutely felt – uh, perfect timing for uh, for both parties, um, and and um, you know it was actually surreal um, and how quickly it came it came about. Can you talk to us about just obviously Dwayne is has a special place unlike any other player in this organization. For you personally, yeah. to have a chance to work with Dwayne Wade again, what does this day and this period mean to Eric Spolstra? Uh, I love it. I, I love Dwayne. Um, you know, everybody knows how I feel about Dwayne. Uh, when you get to know somebody uh, for that long, <laughs> you know, he was a, a young rookie. I was basically a, a young assistant coach, and, and we got to see each other grow in this profession and in our personal lives uh, for more than a decade, uh, you know, and to be able to accomplish some things together with this organization, um, you know, it, and then, um, you know, to – have to try to figure it out without uh, him for the, the last year and a half. Um, you know, I think that perspective was good for me as a, as a head coach. Uh, but then to have an opportunity to, to um, connect again, uh, um, it's just special. These, these moments that happen in, in this business like this, uh, you, don't, you don't expect them all the time. Um, but uh, when they do happen, you just you realize, man, this is this is awesome. And then from a basketball standpoint, because that's still what this is about. You're in yeah. the middle of a playoff race. You yeah. obviously have guys who have a system here. Can you tell us what you foresee that Dwayne could offer to you guys, and what will this period of adjustment be like? Yeah, I mean, the adjustment will be whatever whatever period of time it, it takes. Um, you know, these aren't uh, major adjustment trades uh, that we've made. Uh, we're familiar with both guys. I mean, uh, like Pat always says, this is about winning. Um, and then when you are able to combine it with, okay, this is about winning. This is also about family. This is about love. This is about talent. Let's do it. That's, uh, you know, a, a win on, on all levels. Um, I know exactly where how Dwayne can help this, this basketball team. Um, I think he feels very comfortable on how he can help this team. He's, he's followed us. Uh, he's seen us play. Um, you know, is the role specifically defined right now? No, that's that's uh, elementary. <laughs> um, you know, you're adding a championship caliber proven talent uh, to your team. Uh, when we say this is about winning, we we feel really good about our basketball team. We always have incredibly high ex expectations, and this uh, is a move that we feel that helps us, um, you know, with our ultimate goal. And a question of the moment. He is not starting uh, tonight, no. No, and, and that uh, he's not looking at it that way, and we're not looking at it that way. We're a very good basketball team.
and we're adding two players that we think can really help us um, and two players that have been in our, our program, one of them that we have an incredibly special bond with. Um, we want him to, to fit in and, and be a part of this group. We're, we're still a team that's uh, built uh, on the strength of our numbers um, and our versatility and, uh, and multiple guys contributing. Um, you add a player of his caliber to this, he can augment and help everybody become better versions of, of themselves. Um, and Dwayne is a, a winner. Dwayne will find a way to fit in. Uh, he's, he has proven over the course of his career that he can reinvent himself many times over um, to help winning. Um, and that, that's what, one of the things that make him so unique um, you know, as a Hall of Famer. A lot of times Hall of Famers have to be the Hall of Famer um, their entire career. Um, Dwayne sacrificed, uh, you know, during our championship runs and reinvented himself. He reinvented himself the last couple of years, and uh, he's going to have uh, a, a big positive impact on this team. Eric, how does it sell when you, when it comes down to stars coming off the bench, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, how much will you speak to Dwayne and his influence? Yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll talk. I mean, we, that's the thing about it. We're not, there's not two strangers, <laughs> you know, sitting at, at a table. Uh, we could probably finish each other's thoughts, you know, as uh, as we would start any conversation, um, you know, particularly about uh, once we once he gets used to this team. But uh, I'm going to let it happen organically initially. Uh, you know, we're not fully healthy right now, so some of the answers aren't readily available right now uh, to us uh, on um, you know what the rotation will be. Um, right now, it's it's just about. Uh, um, everybody contributing, and, and and we'll figure out the exact rotation at, at some point. Well, let's figure out winning right now. Come on, this guy's been playing an NBA season. No, I, I mean, you know how we are. <laughs> I mean, that, that goes without saying. So, uh, yeah, he'll get to another level, but this guy's been playing uh, – um, in a, in a, an important active role uh, already all season. Um, there's nothing like better to get in shape than NBA games, and 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 Dwayne's been doing that all year. I can't say it necessarily uh, was. Um, we weren't talking about it uh, then. I don't know. Sometimes things happen, and then you look back on it, and you just think, "Wow, that just was absolute great timing for both parties." Okay. And this is one of those cases. He he could. Um, I mean, uh, he, he, that's another area of his incredible greatness. Uh, but again, it, we're not asking him to come in here and bail us out. Um, in all these situations, other guys have developed in there. What he ca what he absolutely does is help everybody. You add somebody of his caliber and you put him on the floor in those situations. Um, that's seen every coverage, seen every um, situation. Um, does not get sick at sea uh, during those uh, during those moments. That just adds a level of confidence for, for everybody else. Does that mean he shoots it every time? No. Um, it's just having a guy out there like that. Helps everything run um, a little bit better. I, I think it's great. I mean, you, you add championship leadership uh, to this group. Um, I also am looking forward to seeing Dwayne's reaction to see how much they've grown and how different they are. They're much different um, than the last time he was here. I'm sure he's probably already noticed that. Um, just and how much they've grown personally, professionally, how their confidence has grown. Uh, that that will probably be pretty fun for him to experience uh, as well. Um, but I, I definitely love having uh, Dwayne around also to be able to help Bam, and Jordan, uh, you know, Rodney. Uh, you see a, a first-class uh, championship Hall of Famer um, and how – he operates every single day. That that only helps. Yeah, 
yeah, I was walking out of the gym and he was working on some shot fake to it. Hey, <laughs> leave that shot fake outside this building. Just let let it fly. And see how much uh, Wayne has changed in the period of time Luke was uh, gone. Uh, Wayne went from how many ever threes a game or in per 20 minutes to double that. Um, I'd love to see that for, for Luke as well. But it was very good to see Luke, um, you know, back here. And uh, and that's why, uh, you know, we think these are, are two moves that can really help us and, and help the bottom line of winning. Um, but they're familiar, comfortable moves as well, two guys that you feel – uh, great about coming back into the mix and into the family. And both of them walked into the locker room and felt like it was normal. I heard Dwayne on, on the training table. I would walk in and on the training table, and I just continued um, working as if it was just normal operation. Then I realized, oh, wait, <laughs> this isn't, you know, two years ago. And then walked in to, uh, to say hello. Okay. Thank you.